What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here, back here with another video. The season kicks off in six days, people, and we have got a mm -hmm. brand new video to bring to you today, and we are going to be predicting 2021. Uh, we're going to be predicting relegation, top six, player of the seasons, Tottenham's player of the season, young player of the season, FA Cup, League Cup, Europa League, Champions League. So All we're going to get into All the nitty place. gritty. Uh, but before we start, do you want to tell people about our Football Survivor game? Yeah, so we've got, if you haven't joined already, we've got a Football Survivor last man standing going on at the moment. All the details in the description below. Um, if you download the Football Survivor app, then enter our league code. It's £5 to join. If you enter our league code, you take on me, Ben, and all the other We Are Tottenham TV fans to, in, in a bid to win the pot. Uh, last man standing takes the pot, winner takes all. So please check the link in the description below. Join the Football Survivor app for the last man standing. But you will be coming up against me, so you probably won't win, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, you no chance. I've got, I've, got victory. I've got victory here for nah, sure. No, no chance. Anyway, let's get straight into it. What do you want to start off with? Shall we start off with top six? Yeah, I think top six. I think top, yeah, one to six. I think I think Spurs will be in that top six <laughs> this year. Um, we just about made it in last year, finishing well, sixth. Let's talk about like the the front runners first of all. So you got Man City and Liverpool, which you got to say are pretty sure nailed on for the top six this year. Then you got Chelsea, Tottenham, Man United, Arsenal, outsiders, Wolves, and Leicester. Yeah, I Everton think, even. I think uh, Everton will improve, but I, I don't think. I think Wolves. I think Wolves might actually improve on last year as well, but I think Leicester are going to drop off a bit. I'm not. I'm not so sure about Leicester. I think they were starting to drop off already at the end of last season, and they haven't improved as of yet. Obviously, there's a long way to go in the transfer window. As of yet, haven't improved that significantly. I know they signed Castagna from uh, uh, Atalanta, but other than that, haven't been that impressed with their signings. Vardy's a year older. Madison um, was was off the boil a bit at the end of last season. I think they're going to fall off. I think the whole of the second half of the season, the whole Leicester the squad were a bit off the ball, weren't yeah. they? Yeah, I expect us to be above, back above them this season. I Quite think surprised they got 50 million for Chilwell, actually. 50 million is a lot of money. Well, they, apparently, before COVID, they were demanding 80, so they dropped their price by 30 million. The prices are crazy. Harry Maguire won't for 80, even yeah. so prices were already out, out of uh, control. I think for the league title, I can see Liverpool maybe slipping a bit. I'm, I'm for me, I'm, I think Man City are, gonna, are uh, favourites for the title this year. I really do. I think City, uh, they've improved their defence in Ake. Is it mm, enough? It looks like Koulibaly's coming if in Koulibaly, as well. If they get Koulibaly, then I think they they become favourites. Koulibaly's going to be a very good signing. Obviously, um, they sold Sane, but he missed the whole of last season anyway. They've gotten this guy from Valencia, Torres. He might take a bit he to bed in. He scored for Spain last night. He did, but he might take a bit of time to settle in. We'll have to wait and see. But they've still got Mares and Sterling. They're well-stocked and Bernardo Silva. They're pretty well-stocked in those areas. Only question mark is... Um, up front, is Aguero going to stay fit? He got another big injury. Is mm. this his last season at City? I don't know Very if he's well got. Uh, I don't know if this is his last year or not. Um, and Jesus, I think, is obviously a very good striker. He's, I don't. He's not quite on Aguero's level just as of yet. But he, um, does he get you twenty goals? I'm not so sure. But do you still back them to bring in more players from now until the end of the window? So that's the thing. Like I think Foden's going to have a bigger role to play this yeah, season. Yeah, I think Foden season. has a big year this year. I, 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 I think Man City. Are probably going to be favourites for the title this year. I think, I think when you look at it, I think Liverpool it's just impossible to keep up that that form of the last two years. Mm. Like I said it last season, it's impossible to keep up the form that were on the year before. But two years in a row, I mean, they'll probably prove me wrong again. But I just can't see them keeping it up. I would say if I was to yeah, I'll, I'll, if I was to make a prediction now, I'd put City top and Liverpool second, and then followed by probably Chelsea, and then. Spurs and then top six Spurs then Man United then Arsenal then Arsenal mm. I mean Chelsea is an interesting one because I feel like they're going to be a very good side and they're signing very good players but I think this year might come a bit too soon for them I think they're going to be really good the year after this year once all their signings properly bed in because you never know who's going to hit the ground running who's going to take time to bed in all you have to do is look at players like Hyunbin Son you know coming to the Premier League their first season didn't really hit the ground running and you saw the year after and the year after that they really uh, come in strong so. yeah but the thing is with them is yeah they might not hit the ground running but they 
they have quite a deep squad. If Harvest isn't playing, Mason Mount could come in. If if uh, Werner's not playing, they've got Tammy Abraham or Giroud. If yeah. if um, Ziyech isn't playing, they have... Uh, who do they have on the backup wing? Like hudson Adoy, people like that. So they do have players with Premier League experience to come in if things aren't working immediately. So they have a deep squad. Whereas maybe Man United, if, if Bruno... If, uh, you know... Martial or Rashford isn't playing. They don't have quite the same depth, I don't feel. Mm. Unless yeah. it's on Sancho. The thing is, I th- Chelsea, at the best of time, even if you take away the the signings, I don't even think they were that good last season. I just think they were. They looked good because everyone else was so poor. I think it was one of those. I I wasn't that impressed with Chelsea. They concede, conceded a lot of goals. Very leaky defence. Yeah, they got, they got fortunate with the fact that everyone else was really poor. I don't think they played particularly well in most of their games. But I think um, they got, they definitely got, they did well to get over the line. Lampard has got another year of manager, managerial experience. I, I think he is going to be a good manager. I think Lampard, at the end of the day, he has, he's done all right for them. And uh, I can see them, and the money they've invested, if they, because the, the thing is, well, they could hit the ground running. Harvard's could hit the ground, like well, Warner could really hit the ground running. And if they do, they could even be in a title challenge. Yeah, definitely. But it's a risk, and you can't. Put your neck out on the line and say they're going to hit the ground running because, you know, it could go either both ways. It's not definitely going to go one way or the other. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, but I don't, know, I don't know if like Werner, I, don't, I can't see Werner being 50-50. I think Werner is going to be a good signing for them. Yeah, but you would have said the same about Soldado, you know what I mean? 30 goals a season in the Spanish league for how many years? Um, third to Cristiano Ronaldo and Leo Messi. Um, you know, these players are not guaranteed to make it in the Premier League. I'm not saying they're not going to make it. I'm saying I, I know full well what of a quality player Timo Werner is and Havertz and Ziyech, but it's not a guarantee. I'm predicting they will. That's my prediction. Werner will. Z- I reckon Ziyech might struggle a bit. I reckon Werner's going to make it and Harvard's, uh given time, will make it. Mm. Uh, well, that's your top six prediction. I'm going to go for... I might go for very similar to you, to be honest, but I think Man City top, uh, Liverpool second... I don't want to put Chelsea third, but I, I think you've got to. Um, Spurs fourth. I think it might even be Arsenal, then United. Really? You think Arsenal are going to finish above United? I think it could be. I, I don't re- really think United are that good. And I think Oli, if he has a bad start to the season, he, the pressure's really going to be onto him. And they need to definitely improve their defence, that's for sure. I think, although the, the defence was definitely better than it was this previous season, but... I'm not sure long term if Maguire and who and and their left back sure. I'm not so sure about them long term. De Gea has been out of form for a long time, although they have got Henderson to come in. Um, if they do play uh, the midfield, they're playing today. It's very attacking, but uh, they leave a lot to be decided going back the other way. I feel, but I think their attacking four is just you know Martial, Rashford, Greenwood, Bruno, Pogba. That's five. Yeah, but you know it's dangerous, what? Dangerous man. You really know what? dangerous. I think I think the whole of the top six has a uh, has a similar kind of bracket of of strikers and top four players when you look at Liverpool's you know Sane, Mane, Firmino absolutely brilliant Man City again absolutely brilliant Um, Spurs as well Sonny, Kane, Gareth Bale (laughs) (laughs) nah you know I mean Bergwijn Bergwijn, Lucas um, Deli Alli if he has a top season he's up there when you look at Arsenal's they look really good as well with Aubameyang, Lacazette, Pepe Um, look No, no no No, it is good. You, is it? It is. That's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Aubameyang, like I said, Pepe is not in the same league as the others you just mentioned. Maybe. I mean, maybe. It's not. Simple. Okay. And and the Chelsea one as well. Simple got to put, not. Just... And the Chelsea one as well. You've got to put it up there. And I think when you look at all the teams, put, put Man City and Liverpool aside, I think in terms of strength, we're all very similar. I don't mm. think there's too much in it to compare, to, to compare us, Arsenal, Chelsea and United. I think... I I, 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 there's, yeah, I think they are pretty similar. I just feel United with the pace they have, it's probably the fastest out of all of them. Like mm. just Rashford, they miss Martial, a lot of they do miss here, but but give the young players given another season, and Bruno as well come here. He was hitting the ground running last season. If they can get Pogba playing week in week out. At his best, they're a big, big threat. It's just whether they have enough going back the other way to to shut the door out when. When when things when the going gets tough remains to be seen. They might be able to get out muscled, and uh, you know we might be able to bully them. And as well, when you look at Arsenal, 
they've they've uh, completely re- re-established their defence this season. Gabriel, Saliba, but nobody knows how these guys are going to perform. Yeah. All these Arsenal pl- fans are being like, oh yeah, we got Saliba, we got Gabriel. Mate, you've never even seen them play, so what are you even <laughs> chatting about? Like, it's seriously. True. We don't know how like, they're going to play at all. What are you on about? Like, yeah, oh, Saliba's the next Varane. Like, what are you chatting about? They like, they played well in Liga. Like, yeah. we've seen it all. How many players did we sign who played well in Liga? Who These just Arsenal flopped? fans really pissed me off. But I, I do want to say, you say that, that Pepe um, and Aubameyang and Lacazette are not comparable to the other ones in the top three. But I think... Pepe has shown signs of being good and I think he is going to improve next season. Lacazette, he might be leaving anyway. And Aubameyang, everyone knows Aubameyang's yeah, one of the best. Right, but that's my point. So you've got a guy with potential, he's been a bit shit so far, but he could be good. A guy who's been pretty average uh, for a whole season at least and he, I think he took a whole year to score away from home. And then you got one of the best strikers uh, in the league, right? Compare that to what you just mentioned. Compare it to Tottenham, let's, let's for instance. Yeah, Son, right, world-class, Kane, world-class. The right-hand side of the attack, Pepe against any of our right-hand side, Bergwin or Lucas, let's say. You would say Pepe probably did better in the stats than both of them. No, last Bergwijn season. did better. In terms of what? Bergwijn did better, goals and assists per game. Per, okay, if you're, yeah, because Bergwijn was there for less time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but there's still, it's not that much in it. No, he was better. And uh, Pepe, look, Pepe did all right near the end of the season, but throughout the season, I mean, he, he, his, his Europa League assists and stuff, it paid over the cracks. In Premier League, he didn't do that well. Yeah, I, yeah, I was just looking at Premier League stats uh, the other day. Yeah, it wasn't and I, I was in, I was slightly impressed with what I saw from Pepe because I didn't think there was anything in it at all. I didn't think... I thought when you're comparing Bergwin and, and Pepe, I thought Bergwin was a much better player. But actually, seeing the stats, and I thought Pepe actually impressed me a little bit. Yeah, but it's because Bergwijn joined in January. Yeah. So, and like, Kane's obviously a lot better than uh, Lacazette. And then, obviously, Aubameyang's probably a bit better than Son, but they're still in the same bracket. So, But back to my previous point of the Arsenal defence. Um, there's no guarantees of the Arsenal defence this season. There's and no... also in midfield, unless they sign Awar or Partey like they're linked with, I think yeah. they're, they're struggling in midfield again. Agreed. So, I mean, if if we all start from the squads that we have right now, this second, I think Arsenal finish sixth or th- seventh. Yeah. I'm not even joking. But if they do sign a party, then that, that stabilises them a lot, I mm-hmm. think. I think so. Um, I agree. They, it, changes, it really changes the team for sure. Um, and then when you look at the squads in the top six, I think in terms of defence, I'm not talking about Man City and Liverpool, but in terms of defence, our defence, Chelsea's defence, Man United's defence, Arsenal's defence, I actually think we got the best out of the, out of all of them. Um, well, now with Doherty, Dyer, Toby and Davis. And Sanchez. With San- Sanchez, what well, do you think we have the best? Better than Liverpool? No, I said apart from Liverpool and Man City. Apart That's- from Liverpool and City. I said, uh, yeah, when maybe. you compare it to Arsenal, Man, uh, Man United and Chelsea. I think once, given now Jose's had time with them, I think he might have, might have there's a good case for that. I think he might be right. I think we do have the best defence. So and you, I and wouldn't you know, be surprised if we concede the least goals. Of and you know, over the long stretch of a season, a season especially when you're vying for these top four places, the defence is really going to make or break the season. Because like I said, I think the strike force is very similar between the four teams. But I think the defence is going to be the difference between and the And I teams. think our midfield is going to be revamped this mm-hmm. season. Yeah, for exactly. Sure. I'm very confident in that as well. And also, picking up Spurs a little bit, you saw last season as Man United, they... Bruno Fernandes was like that hole in the in the team and as soon as he came it completely transformed that team I've got a feeling Doherty and Hoiberg are going to have that effect on us mm-hmm. yeah I, I think you're right especially with Hoiberg I really think he's going to be a big big element to our team and I think he's going to add that steel that we've, we've been missing and hopefully it will unlock the more potential of Lo Celso and, and Dombele to really show their ability because I think on ability wise they're up there with any other centre mids that are on offer uh, in the Premier League who we're challenging with except for oh. like De Bruyne <laughs> alright so let's go on to relegation which three teams are you picking so I think Villa are going to go down I think mm. they got lucky to stay up yeah. I haven't been that impressed with their business so far yet and I think uh, if, especially if they lose Grealish for sure that, that ceiling their relegation yeah, agreed. Um, I think even if they keep Grealish they're probably likely to go down I think um, the other side the other uh, team going down it's a tough one to call because I like Leeds. I think I think Leeds will do right in the Premier League. I think they're splashing the cash as well. Huh? They're splashing splashing the, the yeah, cash. Yeah, I think yeah, but now it doesn't always work. We've seen with Fulham and yeah. uh, in recent seasons. 
Um, but they're splashing big cash. They're not doing like two million here, three million there. They're like spending 30 million on players. I think if Palace lose Zaha, they could be in trouble. It depends if they lose Zaha or not. Mm -hmm. um, if they keep Zaha, I can see them just about staying up again. Yeah. Um, West Ham, I think, uh, could that, be in trouble. They were my pick, West mm -hmm. Ham. My, my three picks are, are simple as. I'm going for Villa, Brighton, West Ham. You think Brighton are going to go down? I think they could very well, well go down. I like Graham Potter, though. I think he could. I think he's doing a decent job there. Yeah, but they've got one of the weakest squads in the Premier League, that's for sure. They do have a pretty weak squad, and then they were they were just they just crept over the finishing line exactly. last season. Um, after because I, I like the look of West Brom, I like the look of Leeds. West Brom could potentially go down, uh, but those are my three picks. I, I'm going to go for West Ham, Brighton, and uh, Villa. I'm going to go for. West Ham, West yeah, West Ham and Villa. We both agree on. It's hard to argue against Brighton. I'm going to go for. Are all three promoted teams going to stay up? Well, you got West Brom, you got Leeds. Well, Who was West the other Brom, one? Leeds, and Fulham. Fulham, Fulham could go down. Fulham could easily go down. I'm going to go Fulham. I think Fulham. It's it's yeah. I mean. Fulham or West Brom are going to be in the relegation. Fulham might, turn, might be turning back into a bit of a yo-yo club. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Fulham could easily go down. but Yeah, because they haven't have they improved think, their squad much. They're going for a different strategy. Maybe it could serve them well, because last, last time it didn't serve them well. Between West Ham, million. West Brom, Fulham, Brighton, and and um, who was the other one? Palace. And, no, not Palace. And Villa. Hmm. Then I th It's going to be three of those five teams. That's what I think. I think you're probably right. I think, yeah, I, th I think Leeds under Bielsa are going to be strong next season. Yeah. I think I can see them battling for mid-table even. Mm. I like the look of them. I think Maybe. the way they play, the, the intensity is going to get them a lot of wins. Yeah, and I think they got a bit of an air of like Wolves when they first came up. They got a lot of money. They're spending a lot of money. They've got some good players there. Um, it remains to be seen what this striker is going to do because I don't rate him that much, Rodrigo from Valencia. Um, well, he keeps getting called up for Spain. Yeah, true. So anyway, yeah, that's, that's what I think. Sure. I'm going to go Fulham, yeah. Fulham, West Ham and Villa. Oh, I'm going to go Brighton, Villa, West Ham. Um, but Brighton, are, I don't know. Well, West Ham could stay up. West, yeah, mm -hmm. they could all stay up, let's be honest. Um, it's very open relegation. Nah, West Ham's open. going down. <laughs> uh, Golden Boot. Is there anyone else? There's no one else. Kane <laughs> is ready for this if, season. If he stays injury free, he gets yeah. the old Golden Boot. I think so. I and think I think so. that's the case every season. Pretty much. The only thing stopping him is to say he always takes three, gives everyone a three month head start. He always takes not three this, months not out. last season. He scored on the opening day, didn't he? Yeah, it's true. But he And we always... skipped August this year anyway. So, <laughs> so, so he's going to start banging, banging him straight in, in straight away. Like, obviously, he's got competition from Aubameyang, Aguero, uh, Werner probably coming in for Chelsea. Big, And then obviously Mane, Salah. He, Kane's got very big competition, but he's our main threat. He's the guy who's going to be banging the goals for us. We don't sit, we don't tend to share the goals as, around as much as the other teams. I feel. I think Kane is our main man, and I think well, he'll easily Arsenal, huh? Arsenal. And Arsenal probably <laughs> even less. Probably <laughs> with one team who share the goals around less than us. Uh, but I think um, Vardy got it last year. I can't see him keeping that up, and his closest competition was Ings. Um, I can't see him being as scoring as many goals as he did last season. Well, as well, Southampton. If but if Ings doesn't score, they don't score pretty yeah, much. Yeah, true. But I think it, maybe I can see Ings again getting like 15 goals a season. I'm not sure if he's going to get another 20. Yeah. I think Kane should have another pretty pretty decent chances here. I I'm pretty. It's a shootout between Kane, Aguero, and Aubameyang. That's it. Well, and I think got if, Salah and Mane in there. To be honest, oh, that's true. Salah and Mane, you've got to put both of them in there. You so don't think Werner has a chance? I don't know. For a debut season in the Premier League to, to beat Kane and Aubameyang and all these players, I just can't see it. Mm. I can't, maybe next year, but I don't see it for this year. I think um, I think the three, f I think those five players that I just mentioned, it's going to be one of those players. Uh, but I'm backing Kane all the way. I think I think Kane has a really good chance. I'm confident he was so fit and firing at the end of last season. And uh, I think uh, he's right. He's going to be ready to go again. I hope just only conscious that we hopefully you don't overplay him yeah. too much because there's a lot of games this season. Oh, we need to bloody sign that striker. Yeah, six, I know. Days, six days to go. Mm -hmm. so it's, well, not yet. Yeah, in the beginning, we're not going to get him in six days. So it's going to be one of those we get him at the end of the window, I think. Uh, PL player of the season. Player of the year. Well, I think well, who won it? Henderson won it last mm. year. 
I, th- I think if City win the league, I think De Bruyne is going to take it. De Bruyne is such a special talent. And he, I think he got robbed last season, personally. For me, De Bruyne is the best player in the world at the moment. I, I, I argue otherwise, because I don't think you can. The guy is an absolute specimen. He is incredible. I mean, in, in that position, he's the best in the world for sure. Um, and if you're talking about total players, I don't think you can you can put anyone above him at the moment. I really don't. The guy is insane. Producing yeah. game after game after game. There's nothing he can't do, De Bruyne. Nothing. Passing, shooting, running, dribbling. There's just abs- He's got the whole lot. He's yeah. got the absolute package. If Man City win the league like we predicted, he's going to be a pivotal role in that and he will win Player of the Year. Yeah, I think so. I think Sterling could be on the shout if he has a really good season. I think Sterling... Uh, um, I think he's, he's obviously he's been in the news a lot over the past year or so mm. and I think if he if he uh, he could even be in contention for top goal scorer you never know, you never even know <laughs> but I think he uh, if he is up there if he gets over 20 goals and see him in the league he's in with a very big shout as well um, in terms of Spurs players I can't see too maybe Harry Kane I can't see too many Sonny uh, I can't is he going to really compete for player of the year it's hard to say it's hard to say but you, you never know. There could be a player who signed that yeah, could blow everyone out of the water. If United have a good year, maybe Pogba will win it. Mm. But, I, but I think uh, De Bruyne has got to be the early favourite. Yeah, De Bruyne is an early favourite. You always got to put Mane th- as well. I think you always got to put Mane and Salah in the conversation. I think Mane as well. I like, why was he involved in the conversation for Player of the Year last year? I don't know. Well, Liverpool won the league and he was their top goal scorer. Yeah. Why isn't he in the conversation? It's a good question. I think you got to put Mane and Salah in the conversation. You got to put Kane. You got to probably put Aubameyang. Um, anyone from Chelsea? I think Aubameyang's in the Golden Boot took conversation. I don't know about Player of the Year. Mm. I can't see it unless. But surely, unless if you're Arsenal in the Golden Boot so. conversation, you got to be in the Player of the Year conversation as well. Should be though. Maybe. Was Vardy up for it? Was he one of the nominations? I think so. He shouldn't be anyway. Yeah, exactly. There yeah. you go. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it just show goes to show. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going De Bruyne. You're going De Bruyne as well. I think so. Young player of the season. This is going to be an interesting one. Tanganga. <laughs> the thing is with young player of the year, it's not even young player of the year anymore because they give it up to like 26, 27 yeah, these days. Like, what no, the hell? No, it's like 24, I think, is the cutoff point. That's not so. a young player. It should be yeah. under 23. I think I agree with that. Um, I think, obviously, Greenwood's had another year. I'm a massive fan of Greenwood. Greenwood, Pulisic. Pulisic, who's also been very good for Chelsea. Then you've got Foden as well for Man City coming through. He could be a big shout this year. Yeah. Because I think he's going to see a lot more minutes. And then you've got Harvards as well coming from yeah. Bayer Leverkusen. He's yeah. young. He'll probably qualify. But then you're a forgetting about other players. You know, Trent Jack, probably still there. Trent. Jack Grealish was in for a nomination for a young player of the year. He'll How be 25 he? now. Yeah, so he won't get um, a mention. Um, no, no, any no rule Spurs players. Uh, you'd think could be in contention for Young Player of the Year. Delhi? No, he's, he'll be 25. I don't know if he qualifies. Well, anymore. Grealish qualified, didn't he? Yeah. Well, he was 24, though. Right. Um, I don't know. It's Bergvine? It's, Im- it's impossible to call Young Player of the Year. It really is. Bergvine, maybe? It could be Bergvine. I'm going for Phil Foden. Yeah, I, Phil I, Foden. I think the guy is an immense talent. And I think he's going to see a lot more game time this year. I'm a massive fan of Phil Foden, but I'm going to go Greenwood. I think Greenwood, Greenwood is special. He's finishing right foot, left foot. The confidence yeah. from a young player. We all know how confident both Greenwood and Foden are, mm-hmm. don't we? Mm-hmm. Very confident. <laughs> Do you look at our trips to Iceland? Yeah. <laughs> Doing all sorts. Yeah. Um, I think they're both going to have very good seasons. Uh, hopefully, we'll be back, back in the England squad after <laughs> being sent home. They should be all right, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's going Greenwood, I'm going Foden, two of the naughty boys from the England squad. But let me know in the comment section below who you think will be Young Player of the Year in the Premier League this season. Now let's go on to the Player of the Season, Tottenham's Player of the Season. Tottenham's Player of the Season. I'm going to go for... It's a tough one. Son's won it the last two years. Yeah, Son's won it the last two years. I don't Is think he going to make it a hat-trick? I don't think he'll make it a hat-trick. I'll tell I you who I think it's between. Kane or Deli Ali. I'm, I reckon, backing, I'm backing Dell to have a big an season this year. Shout, and a very a big outside shout is Hoybier. Hoybier? Because... The Scott Parker effect. Exactly, because he's he's not going to miss a game. He's going to be very consistent, and he's going to do all the dirty work. And if we have a good season and he's a consistent fixture in the team, uh, he could be a very big shout. 
he could be a very big shout because we're going to appreciate all the all the work he's you know, done for us. You know who as well, going on that logic, who else could be in there is Toby Alderweireld. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Toby. Toby's with him with a very good, very good shout because if he if he can recapture the form he used to have for over a whole season, he could be a very big shout. Matt Doherty. I can't, I I don't know if he's going to have the attacking output he had for Wolves. I question it. I do question whether he will. I think he's. I'm not saying he's going to be a bad signing for us, but I can't see mean player of the year. I don't think he's going to be that good. So on your neck out on the line, who are you going to pick? And remember, we're going to look through these at the end Le of the Celso. season. Lo Celso. <laughs> I'm going to go Lo Celso. <laughs> Giovanni Lo Celso. I'm going. I'm going Tangi. Tangi. Tangi and Dombele. No, I'm joking. I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go for Harry Kane. Keep it simple. I'm going to go Lo Celso. But I think Delhi is going to have a big season this year. I'm. I'm hoping so. I hope you're right. But I think Lo Celso really could weave his magic in the mm. centre. FA Cup. I'd love to say Spurs. Spurs. Oh, are Spurs, <laughs> Spurs really going to win the FA Cup? But I could see something like Everton winning it. Mm. Something like that. It's like Everton or Wolves. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised. They're probably going to go to City, isn't it? City no, like I'm a going, domestic. I'm going tour. Spurs. Spurs. The year ends in one, mate. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Well, I think because I'm going to predict us for Europa League, so I don't know. Yeah, we're going to win in both. We're going to win in both. Yeah. FA Cup and, and top four. And what top a four. season! <laughs> <laughs> what a season! All right. What about the League Cup? League Cup. I can't see Spurs doing anything in this top tournament no, to be honest, because I think that is we're going to pay like an under twenty three squad in the first two rounds. Don't yeah. know if we're going to make it through. I agree with you. City usually st- uh, eat this one up yeah. because they're they're they're. Uh, their substitutes are usually good enough to beat the most top, most Premier League sides. You know what? I'm going to go for Liverpool to win it. Liverpool? Yeah. I think they're going to miss out on the title, but I still think they'll get some silverware this year. I reckon City will take it again for a third year in a row. Maybe Liverpool City final. Maybe. Maybe. But City, City, they just play their reserves and their reserves are good enough to beat like the everyone up to the like, top seven of the Premier League. So Even, even them, they give them a good yeah, game. Yeah. So I think City, again, are just going to sweep it up. They always do. Europa League, we've said Spurs. I'm going to say Spurs. I think Spurs are going to give a really good crack. If we make it, if we bloody qualify for it, that is. Yeah. We always qualify, so we've got, to, we've got to go through. But uh, I think Spurs have a really good chance, and I think Rio is going to take it seriously, and it'll be, it's a really good chance for some silverware. I was looking at the odds for the outrights of the Europa League last night. Um, Arsenal are favourites. Are they? 8-1, to one, and we're second favourites at 9-1. to one. <laughs> Spurs Arsenal final. Oh, that would be something. That yeah. would be something. In Spurs Arsenal final. Oh god. Um, who who else is it? Who else qualified from all the other leagues? You got um, AC Milan potentially. Yeah, AC qualifying. Milan. I think Wolfsburg as well. Um, uh, from Germany. Um, Well, obviously you've got all the teams qualifying from Champions League. Yeah. So you have, you know, AC you Milan, really Napoli. Napoli are a tough team. Um, those are the four favourites. That's it. AC Milan, Napoli. Bayer, Leverkusen, Roma, Leverkusen, Villarreal, Leicester, Leicester, Sociedad, Wolfsburg, Lille, yeah, Leicester, Hoffenheim, right, yeah. Sporting Lisbon. So of all those teams, you're, you're the only ones you're really scared of. Who are you scared of? I'm not scared of anyone on that list. I'm no literally one. not scared of any team. I think we can beat them all. Then obviously you've got to wait to see who comes on. Well, wait till yeah. Sevilla come down and then we'll see. Because yeah, exactly. so, Sevilla always bloody come down from the Champions League and win it. So I think Sevilla obviously always going to be up there in the conversation. But I think Spurs, I, I personally have them as favourites. I'll back on that list. I know Arsenal favourites, but I put us as favourites. I agree. Um, and let's finish off by predicting who is going to win the Champions League. Is it finally going to be City's year? Finally, they always they shouldn't even be in point. it. They shouldn't even be in it yeah, this year. True. That's why they're going to win it. Probably true. Probably true. I think Barca are in a mess at the moment. Barca are in a mess. Real Madrid don't look great. Um, Juventus under Perlo. Juventus. We don't know what Perlo's like as a manager. Yeah, I know. But with all the, all the Ronaldo factor, you never know. He's a Champions League animal. Could very well happen. Juventus could very well happen. City could very well happen. Liverpool could also very well happen. Um, who else around Europe? PSG, they could come. Bayern Munich again. Bayern the, Munich. The holders. I think it's between those five to be. I honest. think Bayern adding the, adding that you to can't count Sane. Out Real Sane. Man. Well, if, if this Thiago goes to Liverpool, well, what team they got? They're also, yeah, amazing team, amazing team. But Bayern just seemed like another level at the end of last season. Yeah. If they carry on that momentum with Sane as well, and if uh, you know with Goretzka stepping in for Thiago. 
They could easily win it again. They could easily win you it. You know, it's very, very point. hard to retain the Champions League. Well, the Madrid team didn't, didn't seem to have a problem. Yeah, but everyone else did. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go for... Who's going to win the Champions League? I'm going to go City if they City. improve their defence. I'm going to I'm going to say they're going to stick my neck in the line. It means I think it kind of means more to them than it, they're just so desperate for it. Yeah, but they always just fall short. Against they do. They always fall short. But maybe Leon I mean, this year, Tottenham, Arsenal the year before. But their their defence last year was so shoddy. Yeah, if it's Koulibaly and Ake, you got to back them. Yeah, it. it'll be the best defence they've ever had under Pep. Yeah. Um, yeah, it could very well be City. Um, let's see the odds. Bayern Munich are fav- joint favourites with City, and then Liverpool are third favourites, and PSG are fourth favourites. Who have PSG signed? Have they signed anyone? Um, no one yet, have they? Not yet, no. So PSG, I think, had a good run, but I don't. But but you know who they beat on the way? They beat Atalanta. They beat um, in, just, in the quarters. They only just. just just beat Atalanta in the last minute in the semi final as well. They won three nil, but it was against a team. I can't remember who it was against, but it was pretty... Like, like, was it Leipzig? They beat 3-0. Mm. So, Leipzig without Werner. So, they didn't have the hardest run. And then they got... And then in the final, it was a close game, but they they, they were deservedly beaten. So, I think PSG aren't going to make it to the final this You've year. You've got to say the odds are pretty spot on with Man City and Bayern Munich being two front runners. Yeah, I agree with that. So, I think... I, th- I would put Juventus above Madrid, though. Um, I would put Juventus above Madrid. But you know what? Madrid... To win the Champions League at ten to one is not a bad shout, crazy. And they did win the league. To be fair to them, yeah. although, although well, they didn't all, have much competition. Yeah, although they're also in a bit of a mess, just like Barca, they did win it. So you got to give them respect. But I think you can't ever um, well, could rule Buffon, out Real Madrid. Could Buffon maybe finally <laughs> get his? I'm going to go City. I think City. I'm going to take it. Uh, if it? you go City, I'm going Munich. You go Munich. I'm going to go for Munich to retain that Champions League because I thought they were just insane this season. Mm. They were. Um, but anyway that is our pre-season predictions let me know in the comments section below what your predictions are like subscribe and comment and as always come Come on on, you Spurs. spurs